Hello! It's currently 12.05. I don't have much time, but we will manage to do everything. I will catch up with you once we are on our way to actually going off and reading. So we are here, post gym, post everything. I just finished editing this video, finally, and it's downloading. I will be uploading it by the end of the day. It's actually 3.24. But we came here for the challenge to read this beautiful book. I will start. liking the whole concept it's nice i will explain more now we'll get on the go i have tasted before i think it's similar to bubble tea it's something cool so if i find it again i will buy it and we will see each other back home and keep on reading how pretty is this i have to say every time i see it welcome back back home so i have a few cutish updates because we are here to read now. In the meantime, I found this wonderful oven dish. This is amazing, it's so cute, and I decided to purchase it because I have been cooking lasagna in a pan. It's not the most convenient thing, and this collection is so cute, so I decided to purchase this one. It's very nice, it seems very sturdy, very cool. There was also a big bowl that is in the same collection but it just was a bit too expensive and also I don't need it as much a bit too fragile as well so no for me I also bought this bubble tea and I forgot the name of the flavor taro that according to Google is cultivated species of several plants in the family arachi that are used as vegetable or as their corns leaf stem and particles taro comes from the food staple in african ocean east asia southeast asian and south asian cultures taro is believed to be one of the earliest cultivated plants i have never eaten or drunk anything related to taro <laughs> look at how cute this is and it was in a stand on the street i, I got a free taster it was really good so i decided to try it it's actually super nice it's very creamy very heartwarming it's very nice it seems like a milkshake but it's not mm, a bubble oh this bubble is chewy it's like a gum okay wow weird let's go on with the story we are at chapter to, so well it's getting late but we are ready for it like someone that has just come out of a tomb or back from the dead just so tired I'm just so tired all the time what the heck is happening to me well decided on a plan not sure that we're gonna be able to finish this by today because last time it took me half a day ish and I also want to meal prep something because I just want to have it for tomorrow so for now we're gonna do half an hour of reading and then something else and we are gonna see what happens so 
let's get to it. <laughs> about this book. Contrary to the previous one from Illumicrate, this is not disappointing me yet, which is positive and at least it interests me to some degree, which is awesome because the previous one that I read was not interesting. I was so bored by the half that I wasn't able to sit still, I needed to go, but this one I'm really glad to continue and I will sacrifice my MasterChef evening time to this and it's not a sacrifice i'm just saying this because i've been watching masterchef lately i don't usually watch tv but today i'm really willing to read more so that's what i will do and i love that this one has the leaflets that i can use within the pages to close them up but overall separate from this the book i am liking the multiple point of view perspective there are many characters that we are talking about and I think it's quite interesting but what's good is that it's always the same characters which I like very much because it helps me to focus and because they have very strange names it really helps me to have just a handful of them that I can really grasp and even though we have different point of views now I understand who they are what they do and why they are against one another at the beginning we started with a pity party but that's common of every single book ever but it was a nice one there was a fire and there was a sacrifice to a god and I think it's really interesting because what I don't understand is Kissin is the god killer in this case and she is bound to a god by a sacrifice made by her father so I guess that the hatred that she does experience towards gods is fueled by the fact that they took away her family, they didn't save her family and they took away her father too that she had managed to free so I think that this is why she has become a god killer but I don't know if this has any implications towards herself. The fact that she's bound to a god implicates that she is suffering whenever she kills a god. So it's really strange. We'll catch up as soon as I go forward. Every one of these videos finishes like this. Me in this state after a shower reading. God, and I'm not even sure that I will finish the book today. I will start some more reading now and I just wanted to point out that this book, in the TBR challenge we had the map makers as the first book and it had at the beginning of the chapters the little illustrations and here it's the same. Look, this one is super cute and they change according to the chapter. And I'm not sure if they also change according to the character. I have to figure that out. Matching the person. So Kesson has this one. And then Elogast has the stag. And then we have Inara that has its trees in this little emblem. Skedishest and Inara have the same one. Because they are connected in some way and we don't really know why. Let's get reading. <laughs> to page 72 with this book and I'm just so tired. I've done so much today. I think it's fair that I take a break. It will be a fast read, I think, overall, because I'm really enjoying the book. Really, really enjoying the book. I don't have any updates because I've not read enough. I've just read one chapter and I'm so tired. Now I'm gonna rest and update you tomorrow. I just washed my hair, they're all nice and fluffy. 
I have just changed. I feel refreshed. Work week is done. So I felt what better way than to get back to this video. I have so much to film. I'm so far behind. Also in terms of reading for the month in general because I've not felt like reading much this month. In general I felt that I was very demotivated very tired by how much work made me tired especially brain tired I really wanted to get it through and I wanted to get it through in the right way and that drained me so now I'm here all back to get down to reading more of this book I'm way more behind than I wanted to be but we will try our best and since it's the second physical book that I read that I'm very not super happy about at this point because I feel that it has gone a bit astray and that it really wants you to care by not doing much at all I really want to get back into it and really want to do better <laughs> Saturday, which is the day that is perfect to do everything you said you were gonna do during the week and didn't do so that's what we are gonna do today I said I was gonna go on with the book which yes I did it but I really want to go on here's my boyfriend say hi say hi, hi. and uh, you have to say hi to him he is never in a video very shy so it's an event that he is here and I'm very very happy <laughs> Ta -da! I finished this book and I cannot tell you how awesome it has been to call it a day and close the last page. I just simply couldn't do it anymore. This book was, in my opinion, the most atrocious experience that I've ever had to go through. I forced myself with all my might to get through this video. I even partially forced it on my boyfriend because I asked him to read for me and he judged this book as the worst thing he had read in a while. I had super high hopes for the book. The whole plot of the book is that there is Kissin that is a god killer. She will end up meeting god that she cannot kill and end up going into a journey that gives her the possibility to redeem herself. I think that the story was for once written in a very childish and very unexperienced way. You really needed a proofreader or an editor or someone that read this story and told the author that the repetition of names over and over and over and over and over didn't make it better, didn't make it clearer didn't make it any good. There wasn't enough description in some places, there were incredible jumps that were not clear. In one part I was convinced they were outdoors and then the chapter afterwards they were in an office and they were having sex and then one of them woke up amongst other people which was so confusing because it makes me think were they out and then in and then she was making out and having sex in front of other people on how did this whole thing happen it wasn't clear it wasn't outlined i didn't get it the whole overall thing of the story was super repetitive the sentences and terms used were always the same there was an overwhelming repetition of said she said, he said, this said, that said, 
always always sad which made it overwhelmingly abundant overall the style was horrific the story lacked a lot there were so many potential places for a lot of beautiful description and some it was delivered and some it simply wasn't making it overall more confusing always the same kind of battle between people the whole premise is a journey that they get on but the journey in my mind or at least for how i understood the timeline wasn't long enough to make them as affectionate towards one another as they were at the end and that really lacked for me plot points were repeated over and over and over trying to make you feel for the characters but actually for me making it more annoying and i honestly couldn't get too little of this book it should have ended at page three and the fact that my boyfriend agreed on that made me overall the more confident that this was a very bad book the name of the characters were not memorable the characters were not memorable at all they had the same character voice personality wise they were different but their dialogue was all the more similar and i didn't find it different enough to actually get a sense of the differences between the characters even though many chapters were given from the point of view of another character so Elo or Kissin or someone else I'm just so puzzled about all of the things that were in this book I'm just so puzzled about how is it possible that all of this stuff came to be the way it is so I don't know I just think that it was such a bad book and I'm so sorry for that because I really had high hopes for this one. We really thought I was gonna like it but I think that yes the fact that it was short shortened my pain but it was also the reason why it didn't give the characters enough place to develop in a way that was memorable and cool. So for me this was a complete no. And I am also sorry for the fact that I didn't like this book because it's the second book from Illumicrate that I do read that I don't like. So this is not a good sign. I am very, very upset about the fact that this ended up being the way it is because it's just pretty to have on a shelf. But it won't be reread, it won't be read by anyone else because I will prevent them from doing this. It makes me very sad because a book subscription that I was super excited about and that I loved the items of has had two books that have just been promoted but that weren't actually good at all for me. So I'm very puzzled about this because how is it possible that two out of two have been horrific? Normally there's an up and down and for now it has been two downs. I'm upset. I hope that the next one will be better and I hope that I will enjoy it more than I did enjoy these ones. And I have also to say that I went on Goodreads to watch other reviews and stuff and I just think that overall maybe a younger audience than myself will be able to appreciate this one. But really, if you like good writings, this one is not the one. It's just pretty for the cover. If you want it on your shelf and want to spend £18 on it, okay, that's fine. I wouldn't. But if you enjoyed it, write it down in the comments below. I want to know why. I want to know how. I want to know what did you like about this book. If you liked this review and this whole video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. And I really hope we will see each other in the next one.